أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم الرحمن الرحيم الف لام را تلك آيات الكتاب وقرآن مبين ربما يود الذين كفروا لو كانوا مسلمين ذرهم يأكلوا ويتمتعوا ويلههم العمل فسوف يعلمون صدق الله العظيم بدنا مفلا سبحانه وتعالى we are beginning our study of سورة الحجر as I told you this is the third of the second subgroup of the Makki Surahs. The two we have read already, they are a pair. Surah Al-Rad, Surah Al-Ibrahim. Now if you compare the number of ayat, if you add up the ayat of Surah Al-Rad and Surah Al-Ibrahim, they come to 95 and 13 rukus. While we have in this surah 99 ayat in six rukus. This surah belongs, as I told, to the early Meccan period. And because, you know, of to break the monotony, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed this surah among these surahs which were mostly revealed in the later, rather the last four years of the Makki period. And this is the last of the series of Lillam Ra. Alif Lam Ra tilka ayatul kitab wa Quran in Mubeen. These are the ayat of the book and Qur'an which is clear and manifest. A time will come when those who disbelieved will very often wish that they were Muslims. That is in the hereafter, when they will be thrown in the punishment, in the fire of hell, they will be wishing if they were Muslims. Zarhum ya kulu wa yatamattau. Leave them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let them eat and let them enjoy this life. Wa yulhehimul amal. Amal. This is amal. Preoccupied with their desires, with their hopes of this world. Fasawfa ya alamun. Very soon they will come to know what is going to be the result. وَمَا أَلَقْنَا مِنْ قِلِيَةٍ إِلَّا وَلَهَا كِتَابٌ مَعْلُومٌ And we didn't destroy any city, any township. But for that there was a decreed term. مَا تَسْبِقُ مِنْ أُمَّةٍ أَجَلَهَا وَمَا يَسْتَاخِرُونَ No people can, can increase their term, nor they can put it back. Neither they can anticipate it, nor they can postpone it. وَقَالُوا يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِي نُزِّلَ عَلَيْهِ الذِّكْرُ إِنَّكَ لَمَجْنُونَ And they said, O oh, you who thinks that on him the reminding has been revealed and sent down, we think about you that you have gone crazy. You are a possessed person. Now we know it for sure that this was said to the Prophet ﷺ in the very early days after the he started coming to him. This was the first reaction of the people of Makkah. Perhaps he has been possessed by some evil spirit. Perhaps, you know, has, he has gone crazy. Maybe he has lost his mental balance. Maybe he had some hallucinations. He thought an angel had come to him while nothing had happened to him. So this was the first, really, first reaction. Because most of the people of Makkah, they didn't know what is prophethood. Because, you know, in this line of the progeny of Hazrat Ibrahim والسلام, after Hazrat Ismail, you know, about 3,000 years had passed between Ismail and Muhammad 
There was no prophet, no messenger of Allah sent to the, this, this area or to this, this progeny of Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam. No book was given. So actually it was something very strange for them. فَقَالُوا يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ نُزْدِلَ عَلَيْهِ الزِّكْرُ إِنَّكَ لَمَجْنُونَ لَوْ مَا تَعْتِينَ بِالْمَلَائِكَ هِنْ كُنْتَ مِنَ الصَّادِقِينَ Why don't you bring us angels if you are from among the truthfuls? If you are correct, if your claim is okay, you are, you have been sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, bring the angels. مَا نُنَزُلُ الْمَلَائِكَةَ إِلَّا بِالْحَقُ We don't send down the angels except with the final verdict. When we have to destroy a nation, we send the angels. Just as we have read, you know, that the angels were sent to the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, and they destroyed. They brought the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to those cities. The angels are not sent to convey the message. One angel, Ibrahim, he has been conveying the message to the prophet, to the messengers, but not to all of men. Now the angels are sent then you know when their term is over to bring that justicement on them. مَانُ رَزُلُ الْمَلَائِكَةَ إِلَّا بِالْحَقِّ وَمَا كَانُوا إِذَمْ مُنْزَرِينَ And then they will not be given any respite. No more time. إِنَّا نَحْنُ نَزَّلْنَا الزِّكْرَ وَإِنَّا لَهُ لَحَافِزُونَ We have sent down this reminding and surely we are its protectors and guardians. Now, by the word zikr, what is meant here is Qur'an. Why Qur'an is called az zikr The reminding. As I told you many a time, potentially the human nature is imbued and endowed with the knowledge of truth. The spirit we have within us is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يَسَلُونَ قَذِ الرُّوحُ قُلِ الرُّوحُ مِنْ أَمْرِ رَبِّي So it has all the essential knowledge but in a potential form. When Wahi comes, it testifies. So actually, this is a sort of reminding. Zikr. Inna nahnu nazzalna zikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. Wa laqad arsalna min qablika fi shia il awwaleen. And we sent before you also so many messengers in the ancient nations and sects. Wa ma yaatihim min rasulillah kanu bihi astazihun. But it has been the practice, common practice of all those nations that never came any Rasul, any messenger of Allah to them, but they mocked at him. In this way, we let that mockery and kufr enter the hearts of the guilty, and it is established in them. They don't believe. They don't come to believe. When you know a revelation is sent to them, وَقَدْ خَلَقْ خَلَقْ سُنَّةُ الْأَوَّلِينَ And the example of the ancients have already been gone by. وَلَوْ فَتَحْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ بَابًا مِنَ السَّمَائِ فَظَلُّوا فِيهِ يَعْرُجُونَ And had we opened out to them a gate in the heaven, and they went on ascending into it, لَقَالُوا That is, if they were shown this miracle, لَقَالُوا إِنَّمَا سُكِّنَ تَبْصَارُنَا They will definitely say that our sights have been intoxicated. Our eyes have been intoxicated. بَلْ نَعْنُ قَوْمُ الْمُسْحُورُونَ We have been bewitched. Sorcery has been done to us. Magic has been done to us. It was not a real miracle. Had we shown them all the miracles they demanded, they would say this. قَالُوا إِنَّمَا سُكِّنَ تَبْصَارُنَا بَلْ نَعْنُ قَوْمُ الْمُسْحُورُونَ وَلَقَدْ جَعَلْنَا فِي السَّمَاءِ بُرُوجًا وَزَيَّنَّاهَا لِلنَّاظِرِينَ And certainly we have set in the heaven constellations and adorned it for the beholders. The sky, how beautiful it looks, you know. So many candles burning. So many lamps of different intensity. وَحَفِزْنَاهَا مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ And we have guarded it from every accursed Satan. إِلَّا مَنِ اسْتَرَقَ السَّمْعَ Except whosoever steals some hearing from them. فَاتْبَعَهُ شِحَابٌ مُبِينٌ He is pursued by a manifest flame. وَالْأَرْضَ مَدَدْنَاهَا وَالْقَيْنَا فِيهَا رَوَاسِيَا وَأَمْبَتْنَا فِيهَا مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْمْ مَوْزُونَ And the earth, we have stretched it. And we have put down in it 
the mountains. Wambatna fiha. And we have made grown and vegetations. Min kulli shayin mazoon. All the things which grow, but in pro proper proportions. This all with pro proper proportions. You know, these biologists tell us that there can be a special fish. If all the eggs it lays, if they, you know, grow into fishes, then in a few years it will be more than the whole volume of this world. So Allah is controlling. This birth control is being exercised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over the all of the animals. They are, they are controlled. Their number doesn't increase. It remains where it is. So whatever we grow in this land, it is all with in proper proportion, shayin mauzoon. وَجَعَلْنَا لَكُمْ فِيهَا مَعِشْ And we have created for you in this various forms of livelihoods. وَمَنْ لَسْتُمْ لَهُ بِرَازِقِينَ And also for those whom you are not providing. So many animals, so many creatures, we are providing for them all. Could you provide for them all? وَإِنْ مِنْ شَيْنِ اللَّهِ إِنْدَنَا خَزَائِنُهُ There is nothing. But we have all the treasures of these things, vast treasures. But we don't send it down, but according to known mayor. Everything is coming down. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as if he has very big storehouses, very vast. But he is issuing, you know, with a proper proportion, a proper mayor. وَأَرْسَلْنَا رِيَاحَ لَوَاقِهَا and we send the winds fertilizing. Now this is the thing, you know, which we have come to know today. The pollen grains, you know, the winds carry them far and wide places. And these go to fertilize, you know, the plants. And, the, and then the vegetation is going on. Lavakeha. The fertilizing winds. Varsalna riyaha lavakeha. Fanzalla min samayaman. And then we send down from the heaven water. And we have given it to you to drink. And you cannot afford to store it. How can you store the water for the whole of the world? What do you mean? If you look to the mountains, you know, the high mountains, all covered with snow, billions and billions and billions and trillions and trillions, Tons of snow on the mountains. What are these? For this whole of the earth, they are the overhead tanks. Only water has been, you know, solidified. And the sun melts them, melts the snow. They are coming through the rivulets in the mountains, then to the rivers, underground channels going on. This is the water cycle. Again from the ocean, you know, there are vapors going up and then they are take, carried by the clouds and again it is either raining in the form of a rain or snowing there. And again, you know, that, that overhead tanks are again replenished for the next season. So this water cycle and these mountains actually, they are overhead tanks for all this world. Continuous supply of water coming over there. You couldn't do it. You couldn't store this much water. You couldn't devise any means of storing this much water and continuing this, this you know, circulation of water throughout the world. And verily, we are who give the life. And we are who put to death. And we are the inheritors. Everything will remain for us. Passing hands from one person to another, from one generation to other, from the other to the next. But in the end, who is the inheritor of all? Nahnul Warisun. Everything will remain with us. And we very well know who amongst you will come forward. And you know, accept this faith and dawah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And those who will remain behind, lingering, not accepting easily. 
وَإِنَّ رَبَّكَ هُوَ يَحْشُرُهُمْ And finally, your Lord will gather them all. The Mustaqdameen and the Mustaqhireen, all will be gathered. إِنَّهُ حَكِيمٌ عَلِيمٌ Definitely and verily and certainly, He is all wise, all knowing. وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ صَلْصَالٍ مِنْ حَبَيْمٍ مَسْنُونٍ Now look to this term, you know, so heavy a term. All the Qur'an is fi arabiyin mubin, very easy. وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ بِالزِّكْرِ فَالْمِنْ مُدْبَكِرْ We have made this Qur'an easy to get the rebinding and the admonition. But here you find a very heavy term, صَلْصَالِمْ مِنْ حَمَئِمْ مَسْنُونَ What is صَلْصَال? When clay, you know, it, it hardens and it is dry. It becomes, you know, ringing and sounding. Khanakna, which we call in Urdu. Hamai Masnoon, the mud, when it gets black in color and becomes sticky, this is called Hamai Masnoon. So the mud, we have so many words in the Quran about the creation of man. Min Turab, Min Tween, Min Tween in Lazib, Min Habay Masnoon, Min Salsalim Kal Fakhar, Min Salsalim Min Habay Masnoon. Six terms are used. Why? This is a point to ponder. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has used these different terms. Why? Because it was in His knowledge. A time will come when the knowledge of the physical sciences, you know, that will increase. How the life developed and evolved on this planet, all these facts will come to the light, come into the knowledge of human beings. And then, you know, these words will shine. That this was the process that Allah showed. The mud, you know, at the course of the oceans, then there are, you know, there water and sand and, and clay, they are interacting. Wave coming, going back. Coming, going back. This continuous interaction of the clay and the water, it is actually where the inorganic salts turn into organic salts. And the organic salts, you know, they have the capability of having life. From there started the life. And this was the mud, you know. Just as we have in marshy areas, now there are marshy areas, and there you have black mud. And when it, it, it is, you know, it becomes hard, it, it cracks like anything. Just like flakes, corn flakes, you know. So the clay flakes. And this is salsalim min hamaim masnoor. This is from which the, the life of this planet started. The unicellular cell, the amoeba. And from that on, 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 on passing through different stages. So, Torab, simple clay. Teen, when clay had been mixed with water. Teen in Lazib, when the organic changes into, in, in organic change into organic. There is, you know, fermentation in it. Then it turns black. And, you know, from that, if it, it dries up, there is sulfur. And from that, man has been created. وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ And note, we find the word whenever these things are discussed, not Adam, insan, bashar, not Adam. وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ صُلْفَالٍ مِنْ حَمَائِمْ مَسْنُونَ وَالْجَانَّا خَلَقْنَاهُ مِنْ قَوْلُ مِنْ نَارِ السَّمُومِ And as for the jinns, we had, we had created them long before from fire of scorching wind. I have given you the stages, you know, of descent and the stages of creation. But now I can't go into that detail again. The Alamul Amr, Alamul Khalq, the explosion of Kun, the first explosion, which by which light was created. But it was cool light, without any heat. It was all light. From this light, the spirits, human spirits were created and the angels were created. Now, another explosion, a very big explosion. Now this is Big Bang, which the scientists have, you know, they have reached this Big Bang. There was an explosion and then a very, fire was created. Very hot, 
trillions and trillions of degrees of or centigrade. That was the temperature of those particles, photons, very small particles. And then, you know, this is the world of matter after this big bang. And when these balls, fireballs started to cool down, there was clay, you know, on the surface of the earth. Vapors went out and they formed the water in the, in the atmosphere and they, they now, rain, raining was going on for thousands and thousands of years. And when now this raining, this water and clay interacting into each other and from there life started on this planet. Well, John Nunn, the, the genes were created in the intermediary stage of fire. They were created before man. Fire of scorching wind. Again, the same, you know, same heavy term repeated. And just recall when your Lord said to the angels, I am going to create a man, a mortal. And created from what? Min sol salin min hamaim masnu. The same term repeated. Faiza somewhere to who are to feed him in ruhi, fakarulahu sajidi. So when I have fashioned it and shaped it, when I have given final touches, you know, to it and completed its formation, and I have breathed into him from my own soul. Then fall down before him in prostration. This ayah is very important, very important. As to know the reality of man, human being. He is not only an animal, like the other forms of life on this planet. He has something else within him, and that is divine. Not from this clay. This body comes from this clay. It will return to this clay. But the soul came from above. And it will return from where it had come. So this must be understood. We have a, so, so to say, a composite existence. An animal as well as angel. There is a very good couplet, very beautiful couplet of Shaykh Sadi Rahmatullah in Persian. Admi zada turfa majunast. As farishta sarishta was haiwan. This, you know, human being is a very strange sort of mixture. In every human being, there is a farishta. An angel is also there. An animal is also there. This our animal existence, this body, has all the animal instincts, all the shortcomings of animals, all the desires of the animals all the lusts of the animal, everything, all the weaknesses of the animals. But now there is that angelic form also, the divine spark, the divine spirit which was blown to us. And that is a really me, that is really you. You know, I was just mentioning the name of Confucius. Uh, no, it's not Confucius, it is from Upanishad, a very beautiful sentence. Upanishads of Hindus, the ancient scriptures of India. Man in his ignorance identifies himself with the material sheets which encompass his real self. Your real self and there are, you know, encompassing things, this physical body. It is encompassing, enveloping your real self. But you, in your ignorance, think that this is I, this is me. No, this is not you. You are something within it which possesses this body. When I say, this is my body, who is me? This is my body. I possess this body. Who is that me? That me is actually that self, that khudi, that ana, that is actually divine from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Faida sawaytuhu wa nafaktu. And this is one of those ayat which are repeated exactly in the same words in the Quran. This comes in Surah Al-Sad, exactly in these words. فَإِذَا سَوَّيْتُهُ وَنَفَقْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي فَقَعُوا لَهُ سَاجِدِينَ In the twenty-third part of the Qur'an. فَسَجَدَ الْمَلَائِكَةُ كُلُّهُمْ أَجْمَعُونَ That command, divine command was accepted by all the angels. So all the angels prostrated themselves all together. إِلَّا إِبْلِيسِ Except Iblis. He was not an angel actually, he was a jinni. 
کان امن الجن نے ففاسا کان امر ربی جس وی ہیو ان سورت القحف بٹ ہی واز ویری لرنڈ ویری نالجیبل ویری پائس سو ایکچولی ہی واز ویری نیئر دی ملائکا نیئر اینڈ ہی کیپ دی کمپنی آف دی اینجلس سو دیٹ واز آلسو سو ٹو سے ایڈریسڈ وین دیٹ کمانڈ واز گیون اللہ ابلیس ابا یقون ابا ساجدین ہی ریفیوز ٹو بی امگ دی پروسٹیٹرس کالا یا ابلیس و مالکا اللہ تکون ابا ساجدین اللہ سیٹ یا ابلیس وٹ ایپن ٹو یو وٹ اس ٹو یو دیٹ یو آر ناٹ بیکمنگ ون آف دوز ہو آر پروسٹیٹنگ کالا لم اکن لے اسجدا لے بشرین خلق تہو من سال سالم من حمائم مسنون Now here he is saying in a very degrading tone, this is not befitting for me that I should prostrate before this Adam, before this, this man whom you have created from that black mud which had become sticky, foul smelling and then it, you know, it dried up and became salsal kal fakhar, khalaqa insana min salsal in kal fakharin, which, you know, which sounds and which rings. This is not my place that I should go before him. Qala fakhruj minha fainda karajim. Allah said, okay, now you get out of here because now you are cursed. Wa inna alayka lanat ila yawmiddin. And now this curse of ours will remain upon you till the day of judgment. Qala rabbi fanzin ila yawmi yubasun. And he said, O Allah, O my Lord, now give me respite. Till the day of resurrection. Qala fain laka minal munzareen. Allah replied, okay. You are from among those who are given respite. Ila yawmil waqtil maloom. Till the day of the known time. A time is going to come. That day, that last day will come. And till that time, you are given respite. He is living the same jinni. No prophet of Allah has been living. All died. Except for Hazrat A. Isa alayhi salam, he, he was raised alive and he will come and he will also die. That will come to him. But this jinni, this, this jinn, Azazil was his name, personal name, Iblis is his, so to say, title. Iblis in Arabic means the one who is absolutely despaired and disappointed. He, had, he has now no hope that Allah will forgive him. But then he says, well, I, when I don't have any hope, well, I'll try to take as many as possible along with me to the, to the hell. And this is what he is bent upon. Now he said in a challenging tone, Oh my Lord, because you have misled me, you have sent me astray. Now I shall adorn and beautify the wrong path for them in the earth, for the progeny of this human being, Adam. And I will take all of them on the wrong path. I will lead all of them to the wrong path. Except those of them whom you yourself choose. Mukhlas, please note again, it is not Mukhlis, not the sincere one. Some translators in English, they have mistranslated it in a wrong way. This is not Mukhlis, it is Mukhlas. Whom Allah chooses. And you know, He chooses them to be His born man. Allah said, okay, this is the straight path with me. That is agreed between you and me. Inna ibadi ilayh salaka alayhim sultan. You will have no power, no authority over my bondsmen. Illa mani tabaka minal ghabin. Except those who are themselves trying to go astray and they follow you. First of all, they choose the wrong path. Then you take them anywhere you like. But you know, people who choose me to be their lord, you will have no power over them. وَإِنَّ جَهَنَّمَ لَبَعِدُهُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ And Jahannam and hell will be the place of their promise for all of them. لَهَا سَبَعْتُ عَبْوَابِ It has seven gates. لِكُلِّ بَابِ مِّنْهُمْ جُزُمْ مَقْسُومِ And for every gate of this hell, 
there is a portion assigned. Different types of crimes, different criminals will be passing, entering that hell through different gates. Inna al-muttaqeen fi jannatin wa ayyun. As I have told you many a times, wherever there is the mention of Ahlul Nar as a simultaneous contrast, the Ahlul Jannah are also mentioned. Inna al-muttaqeen fi jannatin wa ayyun. Verily, who are God fearing, they will be in the gardens and the springs. Udkhuluha bi salamin aminin, and it will be said to them, enter there in peace and security and tranquility. وَنَذَعْنَا مَا فِي سُورِهِمْ مِنْ غِلِّنْ And we shall take out from their hearts if there is some enmity, some ill feeling towards each of them, towards one another. إِخْوَانًا Now they will become absolutely brothers. عَلَى سُرُورٍ And they will be sitting on couches, متقابلين facing each other. حضرت علی used to say, رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ, that this ayah was revealed for me and a Muawiyah رضی اللہ عنہ because there was dispute, they fought wars each, against each other. So definitely there were some ill feelings, you know, in the hearts. But because both of them were the companions of the Prophet وسلم, both will be admitted to Jannah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take away from our hearts any ill feeling from each other. And then we shall be sitting, facing each other. When you are you are enemies to each other, you don't try to face each other. You ignore. You turn your face away. Even if you know perchance you, you are going near him, you just turn your face away. But when there is love, you face to face and you talk to each other. وَنَذَعْنَا مَا فِي صُدُرِهِمْ مِنْ غِلِّنْ إِخْوَانًا عَلَى سُرُورِ الْمُتَقَابِلِينَ لَا يَمَسْهُمْ فِيهَا نَسَبٌ Neither the toil shall touch them in it. وَمَاهُمْ مِنْ هَا بِمُخْلَجِينَ Nor they will be expelled from it now. Once entered, entered forever. لَبَّ عِبَادِي يَنِّي أَنَا الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Inform my guansmen, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, that I am the forgiving and merciful. وَنَّ عَذَابِي هُوَ الْعَذَابُ الْعَلِيمُ But at the same time, my chastisement and punishment is also very painful. وَنَبِّهُمْ أَنْزَيْفِ إِبْرَاهِيمُ This we have read, you know, before, so we can go hastily. And just inform them about the guests of Ibrahim, when those two angels came to Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam. Is the khalu alayhi faqalu salaman. Qala inna minkum ajaloon. When they entered on him, presented themselves to him, entered his house, he said, oh, they said salam. And Hazrat Ibrahim said, we are afraid of you. Who are you? Who you are? Qalu la tawjal. They said, don't be afraid of us. إِنَّا نُبَشِّرُكَ بِغُلَامٍ عَلِيمٍ We have come to give you the glad tidings of a son, a very knowledgeable one. Now please note here, for Ismail, Quran says, غُلَامٍ حَلِيمٍ And for Isa, غُلَامٍ عَلِيمٍ حَلِيمٍ and عَلِيمٍ حَلِيمٍ for bearing, because other Ismail presented his neck, okay. If that is the wish of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I'm ready. You sacrifice me. Halim. Al-Halim. Ilm. Because you know, Nabuwa, and book, and knowledge was be give, to be given to the progeny of Ishaq. So about Ishaq, you know, the word appears in Quran, Alim. Qala bashartumuni alaan masani al kibar. Fabi matu basharun. He said, you are giving me this glad tidings. Although I am, you know, I have been overtaken by old age. So just see what glad tidings you are giving. Are you in your senses? Kanu basharna kabil haq. They said, we have given you this good news fully, truthfully. Fala takum min al qanateen. Don't become one of those who are despaired from the mercy of Allah. Fala wa mai yakrut min rahmatillah. Min rahmati rabbihi illa dhalun. And he said, oh yes, who can be despaired and disappointed of the mercy of his Lord, except those who have gone astray. Now he asked, what's, the, what's your business? What's the matter with you? Where are you going? They said, we have been sent to a nation which is guilty and criminal. That is, the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. Illa ala Lut. Except the family of Lut. Inna ala manujuhum ajma'een. 
لمنجوہمجمعین وی شل سیو دیم دلیور دیم آل آف دیم اللہ مرآتا ایکسپٹ ہز وائف قدرنا انہا لمن الغابرین وی ہیو ڈیکریڈ دیٹ شی شل بی امنگ دی امنگ دوز ہو لیفٹ بیہائنڈ قالا انکم قوم فلما جا آل لوتن المرسلون ناو دوز پیپل دوز مسنجرز آف اللہ دوز انجلز when they came to the family of Lut, these who were sent, who were sent by Allah, قَالَ إِنَّكُمْ قَوْمُ مُنْكَرُونَ Hazrat Lut said to them, you are strangers, we don't recognize who you are. قَالُوا بَلْجِئِنَاكَ بِمَا كَانُوا فِيهِ يَمْتَرُونَ They said, we have brought that about which your people were having doubts. You were saying that Allah's adab will come to you, justice will come to you, and they were doubting it. Now we have brought that thing about which they were doubtful. وَأَتَيْنَاكَ بِالْحَقِّ وَإِنَّا لَسَادِقُونَ And we have bring to you the truth. And we have come to you with truth. And we are, whatever we are telling is absolutely correct. فَأَسْرَ بِأَهْلِكَ بِقِطْرٍ مِنَ اللَّيْلِ So travel with your household, with your family in a part of the night. وَالتَّبَيْ أَدْبَارَ And you yourself also follow behind them. وَلَا يَلْتَفِدْ مِنْكُمْ وَحَدٌ None of you should turn back now. وَمْزُو حَيْسُتُ عُمَرُ Now go, be gone, make haste, wherever you have been commanded. وَقَضَيْنَا إِلَيْهِ And we decreed for him, told him that the command of Allah has come. وَقَضَيْنَا إِلَيْهِ ذَارِكَ الْأَمْرُ That thing was decided. أَنَّ دَابِرَ هَاؤُلَاءِ مَقْتُوعٌ مُسْبِحِينَ That the roots of these people will be cut in the morning. وَجَعَلُوا الْمَدِينَةِ يَسْتَبْشِرُونَ And the people from the town, they came. No, they were rejoicing. Oh, beautiful boys have come. Now we shall have what we want to do. قَالَ إِنَّهَا أُولَاءِ ضَيْفِي فَلَا تَفْزَحُونَ Hazrat Eluth said, Oh, they are my guests. So don't please disgrace me. وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَلَا تُخْزُونَ Have fear of Allah. And don't degrade me. Don't humiliate me. قَالُوا أَوَلَمْ نَنْهَكَ عَنِ الْعَالَمِينَ they said, did we not forbid you from all the people? Why should you be responsible for these people? قَالَ هَا أُولَاءِ بَنَاتِ إِن كُنْتُمْ فَعَلِينَ He said, there are my daughters. I told you, I explained, daughters, either their own wives, you know, their own, the, the women of that nation were like daughters to the Messenger of Allah. But maybe that he actually offered his own daughters. I can give them to you in marriage. You marry them. But if you are bent upon doing something, I am ready to give them to you in marriage. لَعَمْرُكَ إِنَّهُ لَفِي سَقْرَتِهِمْ يَعْمَهُونَ By your life, they were wandered blindly in their intoxication, in their passions, you know. That sexual, you know, urge that has arose in them. They were not listening to anything. فَاقَدَتُمُ السَّيْحَةُ مُشْرِقِينَ So a very big shout, awful sound, a blast overtook them on sunrise. فَجَعَلْنَا عَلِيَا سَافِلَهَا They turned that city upside down. وَأَمْتَرْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ هِجَارَةً مِنْ سِجِّيلِ And then we made the stones rain upon them and stones of baked clay. As I explained, سَنْجِ جِلْ This is more up from Persian word سَنْجِ جِلْ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ الْآيَاتِ لِلْمُتَوَسِّمِينَ In these, there are the signs and arguments for those people who see and understand. وَإِنَّهَا لَبِسَبِيلٍ مُقِيمٍ And that township, Sodom, that was on the straight highway, the straight highway which goes from Hijaz to Syria. It was, you know, situated on that highway. إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَةً لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ And in this there is a sign and a proof for those who believe. وَإِنْ كَانَ أَصْحَابُ الْأَيْكَةِ لَظَالِمِينَ In the same way, people of the thicket, wood, thick wood, they were also the evildoers. They were the people of Madian, to whom Hazrat Shaib was sent. فَانْتَقَمْنَا مِنْهُمْ So we took vengeance from them. وَإِنَّ هُمَا لَا بِإِمَامِ مُبِينَ In both these towns, were situated on the on the highway. I have told you the 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 caravan route which passed from Hejaz. First of all, the Qom Samud, the people of Saleh, 
you know, the ruins of and the remains of that nation, they come. Then Ashab Madian, the place where those, those people lived. Then where the city, cities of Gomorrah and Sodom were situated. And then this highway proceeds to the sea coast. So that was the main caravan route. وَلَقَدْ كَذَّبَ أَصْحَابُ الْحِجْرِ الْمُرْسَلِينَ Now the third, the lowest. أَصْحَابُ الْحِجْرِ Hijr was either the name of the whole region where this nation Samud was living. And one opinion is that it was their capital city. The Umm al-Qura of that time, because they were the strongest nation in the Arabian Peninsula at that time, Samud, who carved houses in the mountains, and this, this can be seen even today. I have also visited that place. A very big hall carved out, very beautifully, very symmetrically. It seems that they must be at least you know, six, seven thousand years from today. So that was the, that seems to be the period of Samut. In the same way, these people who lived in Hijr, they also rejected the messengers. We gave them also our signs. And they turned away from that. And they used to carve from the rocks, mountains, houses, which were very secure, very strong. To them also a sound came, a very blasting sound, awful sound. In the morning. So whatever they had been earning, it was of no avail to them. It couldn't save them. Baba khalakna samawati wal larda wa ma bayna huma illa bil haq. Now the, these remaining 15 ayat of this surah are very profound. Here actually the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa is addressed. In the very beginning, what to do? What are the people doing? What you have to do? What is the reaction of your nation? What should be your, you know, attitude? So these for all people, who want to make dawah in the real sense of the word, not to not to misuse this word, and not to, you know, just to dishonor this word. Dawah is a very big thing, very high level. To be a da'i ilallah, qul hadihi sabili, adu ilallahi ala basiratin ana wa manit taban. We, re we read this ayah in the end of Surah to Yusuf yesterday, last night. So this is very high level dawah. But whosoever aspires to be a da'i ilallah, وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلٌ مِّنْ مَنْ دَعَا إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحٍ وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Now he should see that he has to follow these instructions. Number one, وَمَا خَلَقْنَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْلَرْضَ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا إِلَّا بِالْحَقِّ We have not created the heavens and the earth and whatever is in between them without any purpose. What does it mean? It means, وَإِنَّ السَّاعَةَ لَعَتِيَةٌ that appointed hour will come. Fasfahis of Al Jamil. So you just ignore and forgive them in a very gracious way. Because the day of judgment will come, you will be rewarded for you you have to hear today. They are saying you are Majnoon. In the very beginning we we had that ayah. Ya you Allah Nuzila Allah is zikro in Allah Majnoon. But now you have to hear it. Bear it with patience, without retaliation. If you also start, you know, repaying them in the same coins, now you will not be a da'i then. And you know, the whole solace to a da'i comes because he believes in the day of judgment. If I am suffering today, I will be repaid by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will give me honor on the day of judgment. If they are the criminals, they will be punished. So I don't care. Whatever is happening. Whosoever doesn't believe in the resurrection, he must be very serious. Okay, he has done this to me. I must take the revenge. But whosoever believes that there is going to be resurrection, the day of judgment, and everyone will be repaid. So I don't have to now very much, you know, think about it. Okay, Allah will give him the reward. And I will get the, I will get the reward. I will get the good reward. As you know, we read in Surah Maida, Hazrat Habil, the son of Adam, what he said to his brother when he said, I am going to kill you, okay? If you want to kill me, I am not going to raise my hand against you to kill you. If you kill me, you will take the burden of all my sins on yourself. <coughs> to what I have to lose. 
I don't stand to lose anything. But this can only be uh, the thought if somebody really believes in the hereafter resurrection and the day of judgment and the rewards in the hereafter. وَمَا خَلَقْنَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا إِلَّا بِالْحَقِّ فَإِنَّ سَعَةَ الْآتِيَةٌ فَاسْفَعِ السَّفْحِ الْجَمِيلِ For the time being, for the present, O Prophet, go on forgiving them. إِنَّ رَبَّكَ هُوَ الْخَلَّاقُ الْعَلِيمُ it is your Lord who is the creator, and not only Khalik Khalaq, master creator, and Alim, and he is knowing everything. If somebody is doing some harm to you, can it be in, without the knowledge of Allah? Or it is in the knowledge of Allah. If it is in the knowledge of Allah, he will punish him and recompense you. وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا كَسَبَرْ مِنَ الْمَسَانِ وَالْقُرْآنِ الْعَظِيمِ And we have given you, we have blessed you with those seven ayat which are repeated. This is Surah Al-Fatiha. There is a hadith on Ubay Ibn Kaab رضي الله تعالى عنه in which the Prophet said in clear words about Surah Al-Fatiha وَهِيَ السَّبُ الْمَسَانِ وَهِيَ الْقُرْآنُ الْحَكِيمِ this is the quran azim in itself, Surah Al-Fatiha, is the great Qur'an. In itself, a full Qur'an. That is why it is called Ummul Qur'an, Asasul Qur'an, Al-Kafiya, Al-Shafiya. All these are the names of Surah Al-Fatiha. We have blessed you with such a big treasure of wisdom. This is the biggest treasure this of heavy, all the wealth. وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا كَسَبَمْ مِنَ الْمَسَارِ وَالْقُرْآنُ الْعَظِيمِ لَا تَمُدُّنَّ عِنَيْكَ إِلَا مَا مَتْتَعْنَا بِهِ أَزْوَاجًا مِّنْهُمْ Now this ayah contains three instructions. You should not turn your eyes towards the belongings of this world which we have given them. We have given Abu Lahab wealth. We have given Abu Jahl some authority. We have given Walid ibn Mughira property. So many houses and buildings in Mecca, so many houses and buildings and gardens in Taif. But, O oh Muhammad, your eyes should never turn to these things. They are of no value. This should be the, the psyche of a person who is real da'il Allah. That the value of dunya wa ma fiha, the whole world and whatever it is, it shouldn't be more than, as the Prophet said, the wing of a mosquito. Had all this world and whatever is it in, in it been in the eyes of Allah more than the wing of a mosquito, he would not have given any kafir even some water from this world. But in his mayor, this is nothing, useless. He gives it to Kuffar. Okay, take it. Have it. And unless this is the value structure of the person who wants to make dawah, he is not a real dai. Your eyes should not turn to this. You shouldn't be impressed. Wala tojeb ka adwaluhum, wala auladuhum. You should not be impressed by their wealth and by their properties. La tabuddanna ayne ka ila ma matana bihi azwajam minu. Wala tahzan alayhim. And also now, don't feel grieved over them. They are doomed. They will be punished. They will be chastised. They will be thrown in the hell. Now don't feel sorrow. Don't be grieved on their account. And you lower down your wings for those who believe. Honor them. Love them. They should be. They should be valuable in your eyes. Although he may be a blind person, Abdullah ibn Umayyad Maktoum. Although he might be a black slave, Bilal. Although he might belong to a you know, very low state of the society. But whosoever comes to believe in me, <coughs> he should be valuable in your eyes. La tamuddanna yanayka ilama matana bihi azwajam minhum, number one. Wala tahzan alayhim, number two. 
وقف جنا حقل المومنین وقل انی انا النذیر المبین and proclaim to them verily I am a clear warner کما انزلنا على المقتصمین just as we have sent down on these dividers who are dividing and what, who are those allazina yajal alquran azim who have divided quran into parts izatun a part divided quran into part what does it mean this is one of the difficult ayat of the quran and you know there are different opinion regarding its interpretation and exegesis the most you know confirming to the text is that you some of the mischief mongers in Mecca, the Quraysh, they used to mock at Quran. Okay, this surah is for me. Now Muhammad says this surah has, has been revealed. Okay, you take it. So they were dividing, you know, distributing surahs of Quran to each other in, in a mocking way, laughingly. Okay, okay, you take this, I take this. Just as you know we find when the ayah was revealed in Surah Al-Muddassir, that on Jahannam there are 19 guards. They said, one of them said, who was a very big wrestler, okay. Well, I'll hold ten of them. You, you just arrange for the rest of the nine, you know. Muhammad said, only 19 are guarding that Jahannam. So actually, I'll be enough for ten of them at least. For the rest of nine, nine, now you, you can arrange for it. So in this way, they used to laugh at the ayat of Quran and mock at Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So one, you know, interpretation is this. The other is that here Quran means Torah. That was also a Quran given to the former Muslim Ummah. Because we have at another place the ayah in the Quran, لَن نُؤْمِنَا لِحَاذَ الْقُرَانَ وَلَا بِالَّذِي بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ They said, we are not going to believe in this Quran, O Muhammad, which you are presenting, or nor we are going to believe in the Quran which was present before. So they called Torah also Quran. So because the, the Jews, they had divided Torah. تَجْعَلُونَهُ قَرَاتِيسَ تُبْدُونَهَا وَتُخْفُونَ كَسِيرَ We have read it. You have, you know, you have made it into sheets, separate sheets. And some of them you produce, and some of them you are concealing. So this ayah refers to them in one opinion. And the third opinion is that it refers to the Muslims, who have divided Quran among themselves. They believe in some part of the Qur'an and reject the other part of the Qur'an. They believe in prayers because it has been made obligatory by the Qur'an. But they don't give up usury or interest, although it has also been forbidden by Qur'an. So do you want to believe in part of our book and reject the other part? So this is also a third interpretation. كَمَا أَنزَلْنَا عَلَى الْمُقْتَسِمِينَ الَّذِينَ جَعَلُوا الْقِرَانَ عِزِينَ فَوَرَبِّكَ لَنَسْأَلَنَّهُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ By your Lord, we shall ask all of them question, all of them. They will all be brought before us and we shall take stock of them. أَمَّا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ About what they had been doing. They will be held answerable and responsible. فَصْدَعْ بِمَا تُمَرْ now proclaim loudly, O Muhammad, what has been ordained to you, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because, you know, in the very beginning, the preaching of Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was from one person to other. Person to person, person to person. But now the order came, first na'abimat over. Now proclaim loudly. And then he stood over the mount of, you know, Safa, and he gave a public address. First na'abimat over, waridhan al-mushrikeen. And just turn your face away and ignore these who are associating something or someone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna kafayna akal mustazayeen. We shall suffice for you from against all these who are mocking on you, who are cutting jokes at you. Alladheena yajaluna ma'allah ilahan akhar. Who are associating with Allah. Other gods. Fasawfa ya'lamoon. Very soon they will come to know what is, the, what is going to be the result of, of their belief. وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّكَ يَذِيقُ صَدْرُكَ بِمَا يَقُولُونَ And O Muhammad, we very well know that your chest shrink, shrinks in distress on what they are saying. They are saying, إِنَّكَ لَمَجِنُونَ And you have to hear these words. وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّكَ يَذِيقُ صَدْرُكَ بِمَا يَقُولُونَ We very well know these words are hurting you. And you, your, your, your chest, your heart shrinks due to distress. 
فسب ہم جنبے کا وقوم میں نساجدین سو گو آن گلوریفائنگ یور لارڈ ود ہز پریس اینڈ بی امن دوز پرسٹریٹ فسب بسم ربی کا بکرا تم و سیلا و من لہر فس جد نہ ہو و سب ہو لہل طویلا ان دی ارلی سورا جو نو دیز انسٹرکشن ہیو بن کمنگ فسب بحم جو ربی کا وقوم میں نساجدین سو یو شوڈ گو آن گلوریفائنگ یور لارڈ ایڈ ود پریس تسبیح ود پریس سبحان اللہ و بے ہم دہی سبحان اللہ عظیم دس از دی لاسٹ حدیث آف سید بخاری لاسٹ حدیث کل متان حبی بتان ال الرحمان خفی فتان السان سقی لطان فلمی زان سبحان اللہ و بے ہم دہی سبحان اللہ عظیم دے آر آر ٹو کل مات وچ آر ویری ہیوی ان دی اسکیلس آن دی ڈے آف ججمنٹ دے ول ہیو ویری وی ہائی ویٹ ویری ہیوی ویٹ بٹ دے آر ویری لائٹ آن دی on the tongue you can just go on repeating and they are very loved by allah subhanahu wa taala kalimatane habibatane ila rahman saqilatane fil mizan khafifatane ala lisan subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanallah alazim glory is all for allah and he is with all his praise fa sabbi bihamd rabbika wa kum min as-sajideen now this is the remedy the hurting that is coming to you Now this will give you the cooling, you know, the solace that is required for you. For your your feelings are hurt and injured, but this is the this is the medicine that we are prescribing for you. You'll be able to endure all these things, bear all these things. You'll be able to persevere. How for sabbe be ham de rabbe ka wa kum min asajidin wa bud rabbe ka hatta yati akal yaki. and go on obeying your lord worshiping him loving him serving him till yaqeen comes to you now some of the mystics you know they have taken this in the literal sense yaqeen as if muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself had not got the yaqeen up till that now so this is not acceptable at all so this yaqeen has been interpreted by most of the mufassirin as death the most certain thing for a human being is death nothing else is absolutely certain except death so yaqeen means death till death you have to go on doing it and that is why we see that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his last days also you know some of the mystics you know of certain order they give up praying now it is not necessary for us we have already purified our souls so actually all these things are required for the beginners no prayers nothing of this Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam kept praying till the last day you know so actually all these things wa abud rabba ka hatta yati ka yaqeen you can you have to continue this praying and glorification of lord and praising him and prostrating before him till death and the other meanings which have been taken are till the end of the build this believers till that azab comes that is also certain that this they are going to be بارش بھائی اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی بارک اللہ لی و لکم فی القرآن العظیم و نفعنی و ایاکم بالآیات و ذکر الحکیم اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر The Islamic Organization of North America IONA is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, iman, in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 3. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. A Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing IONA is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter.
For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tenzim.us. You may also email us at info at t-a-n-z-e-e-m dot u-s or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.